What's up guys, it's Frankie here at the Harley Davidson garage. And today we'll be doing a three cavity oil change for a Milwaukee A engine using HD genuine 20W50 motorcycle oil. We'll also use the Formula Plus lubricant in the transmission and primary chain case. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure to know how to properly dispose of your old oil and lubricants in accordance to your local regulations. It's always a good idea to refer to the manual for specific instructions tailored to your motorcycle model. We'll be following the steps outlined in your Harley-Davidson owner's manual. Now, let's talk about when you should perform this oil change. For most riders, it's recommended to do this at your 1K, 5K, 10K, and 15K maintenance intervals. However, if you ride in harsh conditions like cold weather, it's a good idea to change your oil more frequently. Always consult your owner's manual for more information. All right, let's go over the tools and equipment you'll need for this oil change. You'll need an oil pan for the old oil, an oil catcher drain oil funnel, a filter wrench, a funnel, and a primary fill funnel. These are all available at your local Harley-Davidson dealer or h-d.com. From your own toolbox, make sure you have a 5 8 inch socket, 3 8 hex key, a torque wrench, a 3 8 drive socket wrench with an extension, a T27 torque bit, shop towels, and some gloves. As for replacement parts, you can get them from your local dealer or h-d.com. You'll need five quarts of HD Genuine 20W50, two quarts of Formula Plus, a super premium five micron filter, and a service gasket kit. Alternatively, you can get a tune-up kit that includes everything you need in one convenient box. This job will take the average person about 30 minutes. Please note that we'll be skipping the steps to check cold and hot oil levels in this video as our focus is on draining and refilling the oil. All right, now that we have everything we need, let's jump into the oil change process. First, Ensure that your motorcycle is either on a jiffy stand or secured upright on a service lift. Once you've done that, it's time to begin draining the engine oil. Start by running the engine until it reaches normal operating temperature. Then, remove the oil cap or dipstick on the top of the engine case to increase the flow of oil when draining underneath. Place an empty oil drain pan under the engine crankcase to catch the oil. Using a 5 8 inch socket, loosen the oil drain plug and then finish removing it with a gloved hand. Let the oil start draining into the pan. While the oil is draining, it's a good idea to inspect the magnetic tip of the drain plug for any metal shavings. A small amount is normal, but if you notice a large amount or big pieces, it may indicate a problem that needs attention from your dealer's service department. Next, use the oil filter wrench on a 3H drive socket wrench with an extension to loosen the oil filter. Finish removing the filter by hand while using the oil catcher or shop towels to catch any oil that may drip during removal. Make sure to wipe up any oil that drips down. Allow the oil to drain completely, which may take a few minutes. You'll know when it's done when it slows to infrequent drips. Once that's done, it's time to replace the engine oil filter. Before installing the new oil filter, lubricate its gasket with a thin film of clean engine oil. Dip a gloved finger into a quart of oil and rub it along the gasket seal. Remember, there's no need to pre-fill the filter. Hand tighten the oil filter one half to three quarters of a turn after the gasket first contacts the filter mounting surface. Do not use an oil filter wrench for installation and avoid over tightening. Now, let's move on to replacing the engine oil itself. Wipe the drain plug clean and replace the engine oil drain plug O-ring with a new one from the service gasket kit. Install the drain plug with the new O-ring, tightening it to 14 to 21 foot-pounds of torque using the torque wrench. Be careful not to over tighten as the new o-ring will ensure a proper seal when tightened within the correct range. Using a funnel, add four quarts of motor oil to the engine fill hole. Tighten the clean oil dipstick down and then remove it again to begin a cold check of the engine oil level. If the oil level is at or below the add QT mark, add only enough oil to bring it to that level. Start your engine and let it idle for two minutes while carefully checking for any leaks around the drain plug and the filter. Afterward, Check the oil level again. If no leaks are found, perform an oil level hot check as described in your owner's manual to ensure your engine oil is at the correct level. 
The correct cold oil level should be midway between add QT and full hot marks on the dipstick. Make sure to reference the side of the dipstick based on whether your bike is upright or on its jiffy stand. Now that we're done with the engine oil, it's time to move on to the transmission lubricant. Start by removing the transmission filler plug or dipstick using a 3 8 inch hex key. Place the drain pan under the engine and using a 5 8 inch socket, loosen the transmission oil drain plug. Finish removing it by hand and let the oil start to drain into the pan. This process may take a few minutes. Just like with the engine oil, inspect the magnetic tip of the drain plug for any metal shavings. If you notice any excessive debris, it's a good idea to inspect the condition of your chain case components or contact your dealer for further assistance. Once the fluid is finished draining, reinstall the drain plug with a new O-ring. Tighten it to 14 to 21 foot-pounds of torque. Again, be careful not to over-tighten. Now, using a funnel, fill the transmission with 28 fluid ounces of Formula Plus. This will bring the fluid level between the add and full marks on the dipstick when the bike is on its jiffy stand. Install the filler plug or dipstick using a 5 8 inch hex key, tightening it to 25 to 75 inch pounds of torque. The final step is changing the primary chain case lubricant. Secure the motorcycle upright on a level surface, not leaning on a jiffy stand. Drain the primary chain case by using a 5 8 inch socket to loosen and remove the drain plug. Clean and drain the plug magnet, and if you notice any excessive debris, it's always a good idea to inspect the condition of your chain case components or contact your dealer for assistance. Install the drain plug with a new O-ring, tightening it to 14 to 21 foot-pounds of torque. Remember not to over-tighten. Remove the screws and clutch inspection cover, also known as the derby cover. Take out the seal from the derby cover and wipe any oil from the groove in the cover and mounting surface. Add about 30 fluid ounces of Formula Plus through the derby cover opening using a primary fill funnel. Be careful not to overfill it beyond the bottom of the pressure plate OD. Now, it's time to install the derby cover and new seal. Thoroughly wipe all lubricant from the cover mounting surface and the groove in the chain case cover. Position the new seal in the groove in the derby cover, pressing each of the nubs on the seal into the groove. Secure the derby cover with screws that have captive washers. Tighten them in a star pattern sequence, as shown in the owner's manual, to 84 to 108 inch-pounds of torque. And there you have it. You successfully completed the three cavity oil change on your Milwaukee A engine using HD Genuine 20W50 motorcycle oil and Formula Plus lubricant. Remember, it's crucial to follow the instructions outlined in your Harley-Davidson owner's manual and dispose of your old oil and lubricants properly. For this and any other genuine Harley-Davidson products, visit harleydavidson.com or any authorized Harley-Davidson dealer. I'm Frankie, everyone's favorite bagger racer, See you on the next one.